This is the Swarm and Shoot football show with me, Manny Matsakis, the head football coach at Defiance College. We feature Defiance College football and everything that influences our program. This show is brought to you by our friends at Big Beat Coffee right across campus on North Clinton Street. I'm actually having a cup right now, so uh, everybody uh, check it out on YouTube and um, you can see the video of the cup and um, how delicious this beverage is. Uh, get the finest coffee beverages, even tea, in defiance, as well as great pastries, breakfast sandwiches to start your day off. And you can even get a pick-me-up like a lot of our coaching staff does in the afternoon. I'd also like to bring on board the maker of this fine apparel right here. Uh, and not, not just Nike, but we're talking about BSN Sports. All right? I'd like to bring on board our latest sponsor, BSN Sports, and Rob Held. And his sales team are the professionals you need to get in touch with for all your sporting goods and apparel needs in Ohio. Not only do they work with high school and college sports teams, they also deliver outstanding apparel to businesses so they can brand themselves in a first-class manner. This is episode number 41. Uh, Today's topic introduces... um, Basically, how are players are dealing with the pandemic situation where they currently are? Um, as everything in our program has gone virtual, um, most parts um, of the program are operating well. Um, but I think the most significant part of this is um, our players. And I've got a, a few of our players on with me right now. And um, what I want to do is uh, start this off and give you an insider's perspective as to uh, the challenges our players are dealing with currently. Um, This session is being recorded in Google Hangouts, and it can be viewed on our website, swarmandshoot.com, and obviously it's going to be on iTunes as well. So some of the audio will be a little different. Mine is recorded a little bit differently here than, than off the Google Hangout, but I apologize for that. But in this time, this is what we're dealing with. Uh, I'm joined with a couple of our players right now, uh, Devin Hewitt, owner of our Superbacks, and Noah Pistori, our long snapper. Uh, first of all, I'd like for each of them to Give me a, a little bit of insight on themselves as far as like where they're living right now, what their living arrangement is, um, and then uh, what their major is uh, at this point. So, uh, Devin, why don't you uh, get started here? Well, I am a business entrepreneurship major with a minor in exercise science, and I am currently in Trenton, New Jersey, where I live, and that's my hometown. Okay, Trenton, New Jersey, huh? The Garden State, huh? Yes, sir. What's it like over there right now? I mean, because it's it's not far. I mean, it's a little bit south of New York City, but I mean, what's what's it like in the in the town when you get out and so forth? Well, I mean, um, part wise dealing with the pandemic or just in yeah. general. Well, yeah, yeah with, dealing with the with the pandemic, it's uh kind of strict. I mean, they got us at a eight p.m. curfew. Um. And they don't really want people outside unless you're a central worker. Okay. But um, I mean, it's, it's kind of it's kind of hard, I guess, for most people to get used to it. It's not it's not normal. It's not a common thing to just stay in the house all day. Yeah, I can see that. And 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 so you're home right now. And how it's uh, who all is in the home with you at this point? Right now, it's me, my mother, my sister, and my mom's boyfriend. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. So is anybody getting on each other's nerves yet? No, not really. I mean, for the most part, they, they got to go to work. So, you know, they go to work. Yeah. I, I do my okay. little dad. So, you know, yeah, it's good okay. to see each other when you come back in. Okay. Well, good. Yeah. We'll have to visit about that in a little bit. Uh, Noah, so uh, you were up here for a little while and then uh, you had to head down south. So where are you located? Uh, right now I'm staying in Salisbury, North Carolina with my uh, with my grandparents. Okay. And uh, how's that going? It's good. Uh, at first, I was in South Carolina with my uh, with my parents where they're staying right now, but it uh, just worked out better to come up to North Carolina and stay with them. Okay. Wow. Fantastic. Now, as far as uh, being, in, being there with your grandparents and all that, I mean, is it just the three of you there or is, or is that how things are set up currently? Uh, right now, it's just the three of us here. Um, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's going pretty well, you know, we're not on each other's nerves 
too much right now. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that, that that's helpful to know. And, uh, you know, what would you say, um, Devin, uh, what would you say for you has been the biggest struggle since, um, this, everything was announced and our, our classes went, um, basically, uh, out of the classroom to an online, uh, way, uh, as far as the academic side, what, what has been the biggest struggle academically for you, for you personally? I would just say um, the structure. Um, you go you go from, especially with us, you know, everything's like in the morning for our classes, but you go from having classes that range from 7 a.m. to about 1 o'clock, 2 p.m., and then you're physically in those classes. So even if, you know, you go or you don't feel like going on certain days, you're there and you have no choice but to take up some of the information. So mm-hmm. now, um, just losing that structure and that transition is kind of is really all on you. And I know for me personally, like you said, it's like uh, I'm not the type of person to always have my laptop open. So I got to be real, like mindful and conscious of my emails and check in and uh, when I'm getting alerts and things of that nature. So it's been a it's been a, that's like that's probably been my biggest struggle. But it's been a transition that I'm getting used to. Okay. And, and how would you say you uh, are structuring your day? Because are there certain classes you have to be online at that particular time? Or because a lot of universities that are online schools, you can do it on your time. So that's not always the case I'm hearing. Well, yeah, I know for me, um, cause I know actually it's, I, I forgot who on a team, but it's a couple of us on a team that, um, like they actually have to be online like on a normal class time, but for like all my classes, none of them are like that. So it's just all like you get the work and then you do it by the due date. So, I mean, for me mainly, I just take the morning time to do my work really. And then um, probably by like one o'clock, 2 p.m., I'll just go door dash and then work mm-hmm. out when I come home. All right. That's, that's pretty neat. Now, how about you, Noah? What is your situation as far as the dealing with the class load and so forth? Do you have classes? Are you one of the guys that sometimes you have to be online at a particular time? Uh, yes, sir. I actually, yeah, I actually do have a couple that are demand for us to be on in class at a certain time in a certain uh, Google meet. Um, and it, I mean, it definitely is a little different, you know, with, uh, not having that routine, like Devin was saying, that structure. But um, for me, probably one of the biggest struggles is just being in at Defiance. You get that personal connection with your professors, and it just feels like so far away at this point since we're all online, and the information is just coming at you at a different pace too. I have heard that. Uh, it seems like some guys are. It's like it for a while there. It was really coming fast. A lot more. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I don't know why that happens, but it just seems like uh, because it seems like from talking to most of our players, it's like you're not you don't have as much time as you did before when you could just go attend the class. It's like you're you're busier now than you were before taking classes online. Would you say that that's the case you're hearing? Absolutely. Um, I know in a couple of my classes that we've actually talked about the pace and just how how it's uh, unintentionally just sped up um, with kind of with the assumption that there is more free time. Yeah, but there di- really isn't. Yeah, there there isn't at all. Um, no. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Now, uh, Devin, uh, switching gears a little bit here as far as um, the workouts and everything, because, you know, you're still you know, student athletes, you know, and you we talked about the student side of this, but as an athlete, it, it goes, what, um, now you're coming back from an injury. You've done a really good job. You even sent me some videos along the way of yourself training. And, um, what are you doing right now in your physical workouts to be able to come back and be ready for, for training camp? Well, right now they actually, um, they have me going through a process of, uh, taking it easy. So, I mean, the most I'm doing right now is like core work, upper body work, and uh, rehab stuff. But the only reason why I got to take it easy right now is because of my patella, my patella mm-hmm. tendon. Um, and they, because at first, this was actually my first uh, complication I've had with the whole process. And they told me that I was going to go through different things. My knee may buckle on me, and I never dealt with any of that. So I went through this, and 
they informed me like this is actually normal because you know I started coming back and running every day, um, doing my explosive lifts and all the dynamic workouts that I wasn't doing for months, and so they just said it was an overwork of it. So I just kind of modified. I listened to my body. Um, it's feeling good now, but they probably want me to just take it easy for about like another week or so and see how I go and then get back to it. Okay, well that's encouraging. So you you gonna be ready to go? <laughs> awesome. Now, how about you, Noah? What are you doing as far as your actual physical workouts? Um, now, uh, Coach Shank is uh, sending those workouts every week uh, for each day of the week, and I'm doing those. Um, and it's got a good amount of running and also some body weight stuff as well. Um, but, you know, being a long snapper, I also got to get my personal practice in too. And I guess with that, with, you know, not always having somebody there to catch snaps or anything it's uh, like coach yeoman says it's a lot of mental reps too Um, that's been a big part of my workout is just trying to stay flexible and get those mental reps in as well as uh my other workouts okay well that's that's yeah you got to be able to handle that and you know uh devin getting um something you just mentioned you're doing door dash right and um you know as as far as you know holding down a job um you know, it that's probably the ideal job if if somebody can get it right now during the pandemic is uh, delivering food and so forth. And how's how's that all going for you right now? That's going great, honestly. <laughs> it's yeah. going really well. I mean, because honestly, you, you're never not busy, and mm-hmm. that's probably the best part about it. Because in between deliveries, you don't have to wait long, especially during like you know typical lunch times and dinner times and breakfast things of that nature and then on friday saturdays you you just constantly work and making money and it's a good thing and i like how uh, the companies are doing it and dealing with it keeping everything sanitized and safe and you know less contact so it's pretty it's honestly easier now than it is before okay yeah wow that's that's sort of interesting are you doing any work at all noah on your end are you uh no not right now <laughs> So everything is just all academics and working out and Devin's balancing everything out with, uh, working. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and that's, that's a lot of work and, and hopefully that helps guys out because I know, you know, from talking to people around the country, there's a, there's obviously, uh, it's how you take advantage of this, the financial side of this, uh, and a lot of people are struggling with this and, uh, you see it out there. And, uh, I think the, the smarter we are as we get going, the the better off we're going to be when we get to the fall. Um, what um, would you say as far as uh, for each of you guys keeping in touch with your teammates? You know, because I know they're called social distancing, but, you know, it's really you you want to be able to connect with your with your teammates and do some things. Uh, how are you guys doing with just uh, staying in touch with your with your teammates right now, Devin, on your end? Um, just doing the most I can, honestly, um, whether it's through social media, through text, just interacting on posts, um, no matter what it is, just trying to let them know that we still, we still together. We just got to yeah. be far apart from each other. We still one, we still brothers, we still family and trying to just keep that bond. Honestly, that's the most important part. Cause we don't have that time in spring ball and spring practice to be together, unfortunately. So just keeping that bond and just uh, growing, growing into the season. Yeah. I mean, and you're right. You bring up spring ball and that's something that, you know, nobody's going to have right now. We just got to come back ready to go and, and, uh, you know, and just be in the best physical shape we're in. And then we got to be smart on our end. Uh, when we get back for training camp that we are in as good a shape as we can be in, but also put ourselves in position where, um, we have to be smart about how we conduct spring practices moving forward. I mean, uh, training camp moving forward since we didn't have spring practices. So uh, it, it's interesting. I'm, you know, I talk to coaches around the country and, and just see what they're, they're all waiting. Some of them don't even know when they're going to play. They don't know when training camp start yet. So uh, it's, it's going to be interesting uh, from that perspective. Now what, um, here, here's a shift in gears. All right. This is uh, one of the, the last question I've got for you is uh and I know you guys are busy and it's all this stuff happens. Are there any uh, good 
movies or series for people to be for our other players? Like, what do you anything you've discovered uh, that you might want to say? Hey, this is a good show to watch, or I would recommend this. Um, you got any on your end, Noah? You go first. <laughs> um, I've been watching uh, a lot of a lot of sports movies, like you know, uh, Remember the Titans. Uh, Friday Night Lights is, I mean, I'm missing, especially since we didn't get spring ball, I've just been really missing football and just everything about it. But yeah, I mean, any football movie, like those classic ones, is going to be great for uh, getting that, I guess, uh, getting that uh, football that we're all wanting right now. That's interesting. You said Friday Night Lights. Are you watching the series? Um <laughs> I was, I was referring to the movie, but I mean, the series is really good too. I've seen them both. So yeah, that's pretty neat. It, it's funny. I'll, I'll tell you guys a quick story about that. The, uh, the, in the series, the episode, you know, the coach uh, of the team, uh, he, they're up in like, um, West Texas, up in Odessa, up, up there. And, uh, he, there, there's one episode where he gets to, um, interview, to be an assistant in college. I don't know if you, you, you see this deal. So he goes on this interview and is he going to leave the high school job to go to college? And, and I was watching this and I'm looking at God, this, this looks familiar. So they're in the office of the college head coach. And it was my office when I was the head coach at Texas state, literally the exact same office. The furniture was the same, the flat screen on the wall, everything was to tell you, I was like, I was like, this is crazy. And I looked at it because the offices there were like outside of my office, you could walk out and it was like a balcony and you look out at the end zone and right at the stadium was how, how that one was set up. It was sort of funny in that episode. You, if you ever want to see my office when I was the head coach there, it's in an old episode of basically Friday night lights. So it's, that's cool. Yeah. How about you, Devin? What do you, what would you recommend? Well, first, I would recommend NFL, I think it's coaches pass, coaching pass, because oh. actually one of my old teammates just told me that they're doing like a free trial thing. So, you mm. know, I was, on, I was on it right away and I just signed up for it. Um, but far as well on the entertainment side, uh, what series? Tiger King. Got to watch Tiger King. Yeah, what is that? I'm seeing it all over the place. <laughs> what is it? What is Tiger King? <laughs> that is hilarious. It's hilarious. No, you seen it? No, is it a comedy? What is it? I keep seeing everybody talking about Tiger. Man. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a comedy. It's funny as hell, but I don't know. If it's <laughs> I don't know if it's. It's, it's like it's a re. It's like a re. Basically, a guy for, I think from Oklahoma. Um, his name's Joe Exotic, and he just he had a bunch of like big cats, tigers, and things of that nature, and. Yeah. <laughs> But it was a lot of shady stuff going on behind the scenes, and okay. this woman Carol Baskin that he hates. And yeah, it's just, you got you got to watch it, Coach. Yeah, is this something that I can watch with? I shouldn't watch it with my seven year old. Yeah, don't watch it, with Eli. Don't watch it, with uh, Eli. Eli. No, okay, all right. Go Eli. Go Eli. <laughs> that's why I got to make sure I know when I turn that on. But <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Oh, guess who just showed up? <laughs> The one, the only Terry Geiger. So now this is a little overtime version here. And uh, how, how's it going, Terry? Good, good. How you doing? Great. So where are you right now? I just got back to Columbus. Just got back to my house. Oh, you did. Okay. So let me uh, get these guys caught up. So Terry's uh, one of our wide receivers. He's also a... Um, you know, played quarterback in the last game of the year and would beat Bluffton. Had a big game for us there. And um, tell us, since we've been through this pandemic right now, uh, what are you currently doing uh, with your time? Uh, currently, I've been working a lot. Um, working and doing a lot of the Coach Shank workouts that he sent. Uh, doing a lot of my friends' workouts that he posts on YouTube. So I've just been trying to do like a lot of in-house uh, workouts just to stay in shape. Okay. How about how about as far as um, academically? What are you What are you dealing with right now? As far as how you dealing with the class load and your the courses you're still taking right now? Uh, personally, I think I'm I'm doing pretty good. This is probably going to be one of my best semesters in like all the college. Uh, 
So right now, all my grades are like real good right now. So I mean, to me, uh, this pandemic it, it kind of helped me because it's easier for me. It's kind of easier to do online classes. So okay. I mean, it benefited me a little bit. What's your major? Sports management. Okay, so you have a good opportunity to now. Are you when you're taking your classes? Um, are some of them you have to be online at a specific time, or is it just do the work? in a particular deadline uh i got one class that we meet like google meets um the rest of the classes are just meet a deadline uh, okay very good now as far as um getting ready without spring ball um from a football perspective are you doing anything uh because you got to catch balls you got to throw balls you got to do something what, what, what are you doing with that aspect of your training um well, since I got back to Columbus, I probably, I usually, uh, when I was back at Defiance, I went to the field a lot, just like uh, did footwork drills, stuff like that. Um, I got a couple quarterback friends here, like a group of friends that go out and do a lot of catching and receiving and a lot of DBs from different places all over. So, Okay, so at least if you're all sick, I mean, at least you could do a seven on seven. You're never that close to anybody or, or just throw routes, I guess, is yeah. probably the recommendation. Yeah, that makes sense. How are you doing as far as uh, I was asking the other guys, uh, staying in touch with your teammates? Uh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we talk just about every day, uh, me and majority of them. Um, so uh, for the most part, yeah, we stay in touch. Okay. Well, that's, that's important. And we got to get ready for training camp when that hits. So um, let me ask you last question, which is what these guys wrapped up with earlier. Uh, have you watched any good movies or any series that you'd say, Hey, that's a, that's something that you'd recommend for, uh, for people to watch uh, Netflix, uh, Prime, anything. What's good. I've been watching the show called Ozark. Um, okay. It's on What's Netflix. that? It's, huh? on ne it's on Netflix, you say? Yeah. Uh, what's that about? <laughs> um, it's about uh, money laundering. But... Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's not something that Eli needs to be watching. <laughs> no, no. Okay. If you guys, uh, you know, to wrap this thing up, if you guys, uh, Eli's big on playing Fortnite, as you know. Uh, have you guys been playing any video games? Uh, Warzone. Personally? What is it? Warzone. Call of Duty Warzone. Tell Eli to play. He'll play me. It's just like Fortnite. Is it just really? Like yeah, but it's Call of Duty. I'll let him know, and I will hook you two up. I don't. If he's gonna play with you, it's fine. It's just that I don't want to play with some <laughs> dude from. God knows it's New Zealand or someplace, which, yeah. which is crazy. He just hooks up with these other kids, but he, he loves that. How about any of you guys play anything else? Uh, yeah, I play, I play Fortnite and Warzone and Madden okay. and 2K. Okay, well, good. We'll have to get Eli. Uh, I'll get his, uh, whatever his name is on there to you. Because he's always looking for guys to play with. So okay. enjoy that. Well, yeah, I want to thank you guys for making it on the call. And this, this will be on, uh, as, as we are every Thursday, when we release our Swarm and Shoot show. And uh, for all our fans out there, we can't wait for the season to get going. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you for joining us on this latest episode of the Swarm and Shoot football show. If you're listening to this podcast, make sure to subscribe in iTunes, give us a rating, comment on the show. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell in the top corner there so you can get notifications when we release the next show. Feel free to comment below on a specific show and we'll answer those questions as we need to. If you'd like to step up to the next level and get all kinds of updates, go to our website, swarmandshoot.com, where you'll get up-to-date alerts on all of our podcasts. You'll have the audio on there. There's actually a video player where you can scroll through each and every episode that we have um, of the podcast from the, from the YouTube version. So you never really have to leave the site. You'll also see some uh, features on various players, our coaching staff bios, all types of things going on in our program. Um, when our golf scramble is, 
different fundraisers we do, just insights for you that take you to that next level, which is what swarmandshoot.com will do for you. Take a minute and subscribe with your email. When you log on, there'll actually probably be a pop-up about six seconds into it. And it gives you a chance to go in and, and that will put you into our email database. So every time we update, you get an email knowing that uh, we're basically set to go on the next episode of the podcast or any news that's coming out. Appreciate you uh, supporting the program and um, look forward to a wonderful season.